Hi everyone! I am so excited to be here making a video. I have missed the Dharma Bum Temple and our kids class for a while now. I don't even know how long it's been. Uh, it's been too long. So we were thinking why not have a kids class? Make it, make it a video. So I decided to do that. So I'm Lisa in case you forgot my name because it's been too long. And we're going to start off using the breathing ball. Does everyone remember how to use this? As we expand the ball, we're going to take a breath in. And as we close the ball, we'll breathe out. It's just nice just to take a few mindful breaths. And after that, we're going to do gratitude as the attitude. Okay, are we ready? Let's breathe together. That really felt nice to take a couple of mindful breaths. As I was breathing in through my nose, I can feel the cold air going in and I followed my breath all the way down and my belly filled up like a balloon. And as I breathed out, it was like a balloon was deflating and I can feel the air going back up out my nose. A little more, it was warm when it was going out. So gratitude is the attitude, no matter what is going on, no matter what, we can always find things to be grateful for. So I want you to think about some things you're grateful for. Maybe you just wanna think them in your head, maybe you wanna share them with your family, or maybe you wanna say them out loud. But we can always find something to be grateful for. I am grateful to be healthy and I am grateful to be able to make this video, to have the technology to make this video so that we can continue with our kids class. Those are the things that I'm grateful for. Okay, your turn. What are you grateful for? All right. Does anyone remember what meta means? It means loving kindness. And today we're gonna to do meta meditation. We've done this before in the past, so you might remember. And for this meditation, I'm gonna say some words. You may choose to repeat those words out loud or just in your mind. And when we say or think these words, we're expressing an intention, planting the seeds of loving wishes over and over in our heart. And right now with everything going on in, in the world with the coronavirus, there's many people that are suffering and having a hard time. So what a better time now to send loving kindness to people, including ourselves. That's really important that we must include ourselves. So sit up nice and straight. I'll invite the bell three times. And each time, take a mindful breath, just like what we did with the breathing ball. Are you ready? And if it feels good, you can close your eyes. First, you're gonna send loving kindness to yourself. You may repeat these words or just think them in your mind. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be safe and healthy. May I be free from suffering. May I be happy and at peace. I spread this loving kindness out. I send love to my family. May they be filled with loving kindness. May they be safe and healthy. May they be free from suffering. May they be happy and at ease. I now send love to all the people in the world all the people, everyone, even the ones I don't know, to everyone on earth. May they be filled with loving kindness. 
May they be safe and healthy. May they be free from suffering. May they be happy and at peace. May all beings of all kinds, all the animals, the birds, the fishes, be filled with loving kindness. May they be safe and healthy. May they be free from suffering. May they be happy and at ease. I open my heart and accept loving kindness of every being and creature in return. I let that love into my heart and I share the benefits of this meditation with everyone. May all beings be well and happy. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be at peace. What does it mean to love someone unconditionally? Do you guys know what that means? It means to love another person without limitations, no matter what they do. Do you think your parents love you unconditionally? Even if you did something you weren't supposed to? Of course they do. I want you guys to think about this question. We're gonna read The Giving Tree. It's one of my favorite books. I want you guys to think, can we truly love without expecting anything in return? So The Giving Tree, I'm sure all of you guys have read this. We read it in class, it's been a while. But I just felt like this was such a good book right now at this time. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. There he is. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. Who likes to climb trees in here? Do you? And swing from her branches. There he is. You see his feet? and eat apples. And they would play hide and seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. very much. And the tree was happy. But time went on. Looks like he's getting older. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I wanna buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. What do you guys think? Does money make you happy? Does money bring us happiness? And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Why do you think the tree was happy? But the boy stayed away for a long time 
and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build a house. And the tree was very happy. Why do you think the tree was happy? But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy. She could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Do you think that will make the man happy? To have a boat and sail away? And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm so sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I am so sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy, just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Did you guys enjoy the story? I did. It's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. I have some questions for you. And you can just think about the answers in your head. You can share them with your parents or a sibling or write them down. Just want you to think about this. Which do you think is happier? Do you think the tree or the boy is happier. How did the boy treat the tree? How did the tree treat the boy? I want you to think about how the tree felt. How do you think the tree felt? How do you think the boy felt at the end of the story? Before we read the book, we talked about unconditional love. The tree had unconditional love for the boy. It's the kind of love that expects nothing in return. And it was in giving that the tree found its joy. If you weren't the boy in the story, would you have done the same thing? I want you to think about 
some gifts that we can give to other people that don't cost anything. Can you think of anything? I've written some down. We can give love. We can give loving kindness. We can give peace. What about forgiveness? Can you give forgiveness to other people? Respect, laughter, smiles, care. The list can go on and on. So what I did was I created my own giving tree. And you can do one at home. And you can be as creative as you want. So I just made a simple tree with a swing and I cut out some green paper to make leaves. And you can write the gifts that you can share with others and then you can glue them on. So the things I can share with others that doesn't cost any money is kindness, compassion, love, peace, smiles. And if you do this, I would love to have your parents take a picture and you could email it at the Dharma Bum Kids at gmail.com. So I would love to see your pictures or any feedback that you have for me. All right, I have really enjoyed doing this video and I look forward to making another one. I hope you enjoyed it as well. May you be peaceful and happy.